I posted a picture the other day, and I'll just bring it up on the screen here so you guys can take a look at it. On my, I called it, I'm making progress. So just let me flash the picture up here. Okay. I won't say doing the splits, but basically the my hip flexibility uh, and strength as well, because strength and flexibility are two aspects of the same thing. And I wasn't able to do that probably a month ago and feel comfortable and feel strong. And I entitled it, as I said, making progress. Now, how did I create that progress? And this is one of the areas that I find it's almost a fallacy, in, in at least it has been in my experience, is that we've been conditioned that if we want to see significant change out here, we have to make significant change out here. And even when we're talking about the non-physical, so in our mindset, it's kind of that same thing. If I want to see these huge changes, that I have to make huge changes in the way I think. And I'm not saying that that's never the case. But I think that is more the exception than the rule. And it's been my experience that these, these significant changes that, that you make out here, that you see out here, are more byproducts, or I could say effects, than they are the cause. You see, there was a movie, oh, Al Pacino was in it, and there, there was a football game, I can't remember the title of it, and he has this famous monologue that he does. And he talks about how, how they're gonna win this game, and they're going to win it, it's not one in, in yards and touchdowns and everything like that, it's one in inches. And it's every inch, we're gonna win this game by fighting for every inch, and another one, and another one, and another one. And you see, that's what I'm doing is every day, well, five days a week, <laughs> five days a week, I, I'm doing the exercises, I'm doing the stretches, I mix them up, but I'm doing it. And I don't maybe necessarily see the external changes every day, but I'm doing, I'm taking those inches, that inch by inch by inch by inch. And this is why being relentless is probably one of the greatest attributes you can develop in being a spiritual warrior is, is it's not that huge, magnificent change that you make in 24 hours or things like that. It's that consistently, inch by inch by inch, and you gain and you fight, and sometimes they come easy and sometimes they come hard. You fight inch by inch by inch. And when you do that, that's when you create that environment, you create that catalyst to see these quote unquote huge changes that you see in your physical world or in your thinking. You change your thinking the same way. You do it little by little by little, but you do it little by little by little consistently. And when you do that, those consistencies start to kind of create a momentum. Remember we talked about momentum, right? Consistency through duration creates that momentum. And that's what then explodes almost. And you go, holy smokes, this out here. Or my thinking, I noticed that I, my thinking is now different. I don't have to try and make it differently, at least not in this huge way. It's inch by inch by inch. The spiritual warrior knows it's a way you win the war is inch by inch by inch. 